Happy Pride 2024. So I asked several members of my family of choice, folks you'll meet and you lied to me about God, a few questions. Bubba, what is the biggest lie someone told you about God? What is the biggest lie that someone told me about God? That's perfect. <laughs> The biggest lie that somebody ever told me about God. I just keep going back to like that fire and brimstone God that like other people always talked about. Like that 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 that, that he's a fearful God and, and be afraid and, and vengeful and anything having to do with negativity, anything that's saying he's gonna send me to hell and not love me because of who I am, anything like that. Because the first thing I ever learned was God is love. And everything I was told that negates that. It has to be the biggest bunch of bullshit ever. Keep it simple. The kids get it. Why can't adults? They make God small by calling God just old man with a beard, as opposed to everything that it there is. Now I'm stumped. <laughs> What's the biggest lie someone ever told you about God? That his love was conditional. What is the biggest lie? Someone ever told you about yourself in the name of God? In the name of God? Uh, someone once told me that I was an abomination. They got that far that they actually called me an abomination. And thinking back on it, on all of the nasty things I did, and I could be a bastard rat. Never an abomination. The biggest lie that someone told me about myself in God's name. I think I, I think it would go right to I think the, the sexuality piece that that God that God hates gays and that gay people aren't supposed to you know a man is not supposed to lie with a man and that's in the Bible and 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 that's a mortal sin. You know what I mean? And I think that's where my mind goes to automatically. Like the biggest problem that I would that I would have probably with that. Yeah that I was going to hell for being gay. Um, that who I love uh, is a sin and because of that, I couldn't truly be loved by God. And it made me feel unworthy and distant and wrong. I'm not enough. I mean that I'm not pious enough. I'm not, that's it, that I'm not pious enough. That I'm irreverent, I have an irreverent sense of humor and because of that, it's gotten me into trouble with some people who think that I should be more serious, that I should be more fearful, that I should be basically down on my knees, just quaking in my shoes. And what's the biggest lie someone ever told you about yourself and God? That God doesn't love me. That I wasn't made in his image, that I was sinful. The truth is that God loves you just as you are. The truth is, God is love, and my sexuality doesn't change that. God is simply love. 